and welcome back to another lip balm review. Um, I'm sure if you're watching this, you saw that Avon one that just went up. Uh, that was actually filmed two days ago. Today is the 6th, so that was the 4th, uh, but I just posted it today. Um, I'm not sure if I'll post this one today or tomorrow, but I'm filming it on the 6th, just so we all know that I am okay, my lip is okay, it is what it is. So anyway, uh, today we're doing something totally different. We're gonna review the Chapstick Strawberry Ice Pop from the I Heart Summer Collection. This came out last year and I meant to review it then and I am dumb and totally forgot about it. It fell to the bottom of the to-be-reviewed box uh, because it wasn't carded. It's just an individually packaged one. That is real easy when they're in that category. So found it again while I was digging through looking for different stuff to review and was like, oh yeah, I still gotta do that one. You know what else I still gotta do? The spring collection for last year too, so uh, that'll be coming up some point in the future, but I do have the rest of the tinted lip oils as well to do, so I'll probably uh, flip back and forth between those, but I have a bunch of chapsticks that need reviewing that I forgot I had that I feel really dumb that I have not gotten around to. Like, let's see, do I have any right here next to me? No, they're all buried again. Okay. That's alright, but, um, there is one super rare one that I feel really bad that somebody actually sent me just out of the goodness of their heart, and I meant to review it, and then instead of putting it in the to-be-reviewed box, I put it in the Chapstick Collection bag. So when looking for stuff to review, I forgot to look over there. And I actually went through there and I pulled out the stuff from that bag that should be in this box, so it'll actually get reviewed now. But I felt so stupid when I found a bunch of those over there. I was like, how did this happen? <laughs> so I think I know how it happened the last time on an Instagram live. Somebody has to see a chapstick brand collection, and I pulled them all out. I mistakenly put, like, all the things over there instead of having them organized the way I usually do, and this is generally how these things happen. Anyway, I'm babbling. Two and a half minutes. We have not gotten into the actual review yet. I know, and I know, frizzy hair don't care. It got rained on, and it dried, and... This is not cute. I know. I know. That's what happens when my hair dries naturally and is curly and is pretty for about a day, but then either humidity or rain happens and then this, this disaster happens. So I have to hit it with a straining iron or something. I don't know. But anyway, getting into it. <laughs> um, so obviously it's a stick, just standard chapstick. Uh, the patching on this one magenta and yellow for the color combo. Makes me think of the Mixed Sticks collection with the um, Berry Lemon one or whatever it was. Uh, but this one is just Strawberry Ice Pop and we got a little popsicle up here. It's very cute. Um, it is synthetic as are just about all chapsticks. I can't say all because there was the lip butters, but yeah. So anyway, this is limited edition. It may already be gone by this point. But if you know where to look, you can probably still find it. Like, certain dollar stores sell them way beyond when they get discontinued. So, anyhow. Um, it was part of the I Heart Summer Collection, so there's several of those. Um, just Google it. Trust me, you'll you'll find them. They come right up. Good job, self. Dropped it. Um, <laughs> amount of product is 0.15 ounces. Standard stick amount. Um, shelf life, I don't think, is listed. Um... Yeah, no, it's not. So just use your better judgment. Price point wise, it's just standard chapstick. So it's only like a buck ninety nine, if that. Maybe two ninety nine if it's somewhere expensive, but generally buck ninety nine tops. Um, so sturdiness wise, because it has that little graphic on the top, you may have an issue keeping that on if you don't put a dab of glue under there, which I'm probably gonna do. But the actual cap itself staying on, also. Not fabulous, just throwing that out there. And I'm not sure if that has to do with the graphic. Let me pop that off just to compare real quick. Let's not drop the actual stick though. I'll put it back on after. Oh snap, I just lost the cap, didn't I? Good job, so please tell me it landed in my hair. I felt it hit my hair. I don't think it did. Oh, it's next to me, okay. 
Whew. I thought it was like that one Sunbum review I did where I lost the cap for like two freaking days straight. That was fun, wasn't it? Okay, so now, without the little graphic on it, <laughs> need dust on it, let's check. Yeah, I was not wrong. I was not wrong. This one does not click on real well. It comes right off, even without the decal in the way. So let's try to put that back on carefully. Like a little condom for your chapstick lid. Okay, there you go. All better. So, um, got to check the turn wheel because I'm a genius. Let's see. At least it's not wiggly, so I mean, we only got one point against it there. So anyway, no special features like SPF for medication, so let's see how this baby smells. And this is the color of the wax. Doubt there will be color payoff, though, because there usually isn't with chapstick. It's just the standard, straight-up, run-of-the-mill, you all know it, the artificial, um artificial strawberry scent so nothing to write home about hold on just got a text that was definitely not worth interrupting the video for yet another fight same person as usual anyway i don't think she even bothers watching these videos anymore so i don't mind outing her so anyways getting back to this Standard artificial chap <laughs> chap strawberry smell. Um, it smells just like the normal strawberry. It smells like whatever the last incarnation of strawberry had was in the Valentine's Day collection. Um, there's really nothing new to it. I thought maybe there'd be like some vanilla in there or something. No, it's just straight up artificial strawberry. The same one we always get. With a hint of plastic smell, because the newer ones all seem to smell like plastic, and it bugs me. I wish they didn't. Yeah, there's nothing different about it. <laughs> so that's a little disappointing. Maybe it'll impress me more with how it feels or tastes or something, but we'll see. At least it's a softer one and not a super waxy one. Okay. It has that going for it. Alright. Surprisingly thin. No taste. That's disappointing. I thought maybe. Um, I guess it is kind of waxy. It's like uh, the hybrid between waxy and creamy. Yeah, it's kind of in that territory. But on the other hand, it's good for if you have wind chapped lips or you're trying to prevent wind chapped lips. It's good for that, because it will seal stuff down. But not so great for actively moisturizing, so know your products, know what they're best used for, because different products are better for different types of purposes. So, um, it is shiny, as you can see, um, probably because of the waxiness there. Um, but yeah, so far, nothing real special about this one. Um, you do not need to go out of your way to find it if you just want a new strawberry. It's literally the same as the straight-up, run-of-the-mill strawberry one. We'll do the drink test anyway, though. Yeah, I'm actually not surprised that that held up. Okay. It has that going for it, but will I give it the wow factor? No, it does not have enough going for it, honestly, to give it the wow factor, I don't think. Um, hmm. What will I rate it, though? I mean, it's not terrible. It's not a bad product. It just is not in any way, shape, or form unique beyond the outer packaging. Um, so... Let me think. The cap doesn't stay on real well, so that's a point against it. Um, the scent is not unique, so counting that against it. Um, the sticky, tacky waxiness, so I'll count that as a point against it. Um, no wow factor. So that puts us uh, very slightly above midway. That gives us a 6 out of 10, 
very run-of-the-mill average. It's not good, it's not bad, it just is kind of there and exists. It's usable. It's not the worst thing ever, but I mean, it's not one that I would spend a bunch of money to add to your collection if you don't have it, because trust me, you already have it just under another name, be it the regular strawberry or the Valentine's Day strawberry. You've got it. Trust me, you've already got this. Just with a different little picture on it. So I don't think I can in good conscience tell you to go out of your way for this one unless you just really, really, really want that different graphic on it, in which case, be my guest, but don't pay a shit ton of money for it because it's not new. <laughs> it's nothing to write home about, so. Ah oh, well, can't win them all, so. Anyway, guys, that is it for this one. So, as usual, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below. Do you guys have this one? Do you feel the same way I do that it is literally the same strawberry we've been given over and over and over again? Let me know your thoughts down below, as well as anything else. If you feel like leaving me, make sure you're following my social media accounts. They're all listed down below. My Facebook fan page, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Etsy, everything. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it and get your name on the end card for the next month, uh, go ahead and donate to me. The donation link is down in the description, too. So anyway, guys, till next time, bye-bye.